Welcome back to another video of Tsunami67. In this video, I'm going to be going over your complete Magicorn guide in Prodigy. Now, I am going to have timestamps in the description for parts of the video because there are going to be certain sections of this video that people will probably want to skip to. This video will contain everything from like how to get magic coins to ways to spend magic coins, so even like tips that I um, have on you guys actually conserving your magic coins properly. So with that, that let's get started right into the video. Now, probably one of the most asked things in like every comment section, or perhaps one of the most uh, wanted things you want to know based off of how good my videos do is how to get magic coins. Now, um, this first section of this uh, video will be, I'll be telling you all the different ways you can actually get magic coins. And that first, we're going to start off with the treasure trap. Now, this is the biggest way to get them. You, you do the treasures, you get the reward in the treasure track, and many of them contain magic coins. Now, um, although yes, it, do, it does take a plus membership to get these top rewards, and the bottoms do the bot although you the non-members only do get the bottom so it doesn't add up to that much over um everything because there's not many magic coin rewards for the non-members but for the members the core members and the plus members we actually get a decent amount of magic coins now another thing in in the treasure track that we can get it from is just the gifts it just gives it like being a uh ultra member you get you just get ma magic coins every month. It just gives it to you and you can just collect them. It's an interesting concept. It's just a free gift basically. And like, I guess that is good to be a plus member, uh, all, an ultra member that, but that's one of the only things that's good about being an ultra member. So that's the little thing I'm a little bit skeptical about. Now, another big um, way to get magic coins right now is Summerfest. Now, if you click on this button right here, Summerfest, there's a bunch of quests here, and I know many people are common with this, but this is a summer. This is a magic coin guide. I'll be listing everything. Now, with new events nowadays, there are going to be quests like this, and a lot of them actually give magic coins. Now, um, I already completed most of these ones here. They don't give a lot, I will say. It's like these, it's not. It's not even that much magic coins. Mostly just twenty five each section and some of them are just for members also so not even you can't some non-members can't even get all these ones so it's definitely it's not it's not it's not the greatest way to get magic coins but it is a way to get magic coins it's not very efficient because most of these things actually require a lot of a, a, a lot of grinding like for example like if you if you want if it okay wait actually these these ones you need to claim ten rewards play three times. Actually, I stand corrected. The some of these are not too difficult to get. I was talking about these ones, but still the quantity of magic coins that you get from this is actually not that much. Now the final way you can get magic coins is not a real way to get them. You the, the final way to get magic coins is by just buying them. Like I know it's it's kind of pay to win, but. If you really not, if you really want those magic coins, you can buy them. These are the deals here. You can get 250 magic coins for 4.95, and I, I believe this is it's Canadian. I don't know. You can just go on this page yourself. I am. This is probably Canadian dollars, but it could be uh, USD. I'm not 100% sure. But 6,000 magic coins. Which um, actually isn't even that much. Cost a whopping a hundred bucks, and that is insane. Considering I already have almost six thousand magic coins from just saving up, and a hundred bucks that is a concerning, a concerningly high amount. Uh, now, obviously, I don't think this is a, a very um, ethical way to get magic coins. I don't think it's a very like good way to get magic coins either because then people would just call you a pay to win and that's not good actually be getting a membership anyway is sort of pay to win but buying extra magic coins on top of that that's a little bit too much now we're getting down to ways you can spend magic coins and um we're gonna go over these these uh, methods a little bit quicker because well there are a lot of ways to spend magic coins 
Now some of these you probably didn't actually know. There's a few of these that I didn't even know that well, like how they worked until prior making prior to making this video. So, like, hang on while I explain these. The first is the most obvious. You can use it to uh, uh, level up your pets. Now this is basically you can use it anywhere. Um, a lot of this is probably one of the most used, although it is kind of a scam because it's not very like efficient. It, it, basically, the ratio for this is three to one. For the, the it, this is a third of the magic coins of uh, uh, compared to gold that you need. This is not really worth it at all. Uh, I don't think this should be a way you're spending magic coins. Another way to spend magic coins, probably actually this is probably the most used, is by evolving. Now, evolving costs magic coins, and depending on the rarity, that's actually what I, I um, that's what caused causes the magic coin price to go up. That's it's actually the rarity of the pet. Um, the rarity will make the magic coins go higher. So, for example, this is only a common pet, so it will co only cost 55 magic coins to evolve this guy to the max, um, the max thing, which is uh, like the third evolution. Now, if you look at a pet like Telluria, because um, it's it's heroic rarity, so not the highest rarity, but still pretty damn high, it costs a, a bit more to evolve. So, 130 magic coins. That's that's gonna be more. So, it just depends on the rarity, and um, that's what causes your your pricing to go high, to go up to evolve. Now, staying on the topic of in the actual pets. The next way you can spend magic coins, I actually did not know that you could. Let's say you can't merge a pet anymore. You're just out of pets to merge like I am right now. You might... And people know like, they say it costs magic coins to merge and that's not true at all. It does not cost magic coins to merge. Um, and people were just... They, they didn't actually look into what the magic coins actually did. Now, if you look at this, it cost me 510 magic coins to merge. And you might be wondering, you don't have the pets. How can you merge? The answer is, I actually can. And this is because the magic coins for merging, it doesn't actually, like, it doesn't actually, like, cost magic coins to merge. If It's just, it'll show magic coins here if you need pets to merge. And it'll just, it's just simply getting those pets for you. It's simply just uh, if you want to if I, I'm not gonna click merge but like it will just add those pets to your inventory it'll give you the extra pets for the cost of the magic coin and then it'll merge it why this exists I don't know it's just giving you free options instead of going to rescue them if you really want it I guess it is convenient convenient because it does cost a lot of mat it does cost a lot of um, resources including gold and magic coins to evolve pets like for example if you just catch these ones or Already catching, well, catching pets cost magic coins, but it it is sort of convenient, although it is very pricey. Uh, another major use of magic coins is buying things. A lot of these things come from the pet center, and this pet center is expanded a lot now, so that we have special offers like these things, where you can buy things for a pretty big amount of magic coins. There's even a wizard center now where you can buy a lot of this armor. Some of it, um, not the wizard center specifically, but in the special offer section, these ones will cost magic coins. Um, the pet store will also cost magic coins to buy pets, and it's generally along the same lines with the normal shops. Um, if you look at these nor well, normal region shops, we just go do. Yep, the Firefly shops, they'll cost magic coins to buy the more expensive things. That That's made the, one of the biggest uses for magic coins. Another use for magic coins is gambling. And yeah, you heard me right. Prodigy has introduced gambling into the game, which is uh, kind of concerning, but you know, I'm not going to question it. You can spin for new enemies for magic coins. You can get new thing for... Uh, the cost of magic coins, which is, I don't know what to even think of that. This is just, you just re-roll it. I guess it's not really gambling. Derek Frostley put it in a way that makes it look like gambling. It's just refreshing the enemy. I wouldn't say that's gambling for the most part, but that 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 is, that is like, okay, that's another way to spend magic coins. We all know it costs magic coins to rescue pets. And again, that's depending on the pet's rarity. Now it also costs magic coins 
if you go to the lost pet center and rescue the pets like this and no this this method is not cheaper it's actually more expensive for some reason it costs more magic coins than it then it just takes to rescue them normally which i suppose it's giving you a second chance for a higher price which is which is all right but um if you, if you shouldn't really rely on the pet center you should just rescue them while you while you can in the normal battle so that was basically all the ways that you can spend magic coins which um it, it's, it, there's a lot of ways to spend magic coins now it's almost as much as gold maybe perhaps even more but the, with a, 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 magic coins you don't get a lot of them as i explained in the beginning so what are some tips that you can do to conserve magic coins let's get into that now the simplest ones is just to not use the gambling it, it's not it, it's not efficient it, it's it really just wastes magic coins and those things don't matter that much anyway the buffs that you get in the dragon out they they're not even that important you could probably beat the rift without them and for the most part, you, they, even having them is a good thing anyway. You don't need to waste more magic coins on something that's excessive. Now the second tip is comes in while merging. Now, um, well, when you merge, like I talked about earlier, you can, in fact, use magic coins to get free pets that you don't have. Now, um, although this may seem like a scam, it sort of is, but isn't in a, in a sense because while these all, all these ice creators they only cost 80 magic coins to rescue each it does cost effort to get them and it if you don't have gold to uh, level them up with it may be even harder because you need magic coins to level them up, that level them up and it, it'll cost a lot more than 510 magic coins to get all these pets to level 150 but usually you wouldn't do that anyway if you have the gold it's it's way more efficient just to catch these pets don't spend magic coins like this if you really 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 don't have to now i can't go over every single pet's cost in and like if if it's worth it to get it or something but make sure to look if you if you're not sure about the cost of magic coins make sure to look it up on the internet it's 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 not easy to like get scammed but th there are some ways that i have gotten scammed before like in this pet center if you're just really desperate to get a pet or don't know if you're getting if, if the pricing is correct you can always search it up I, I can't go around explaining every single pet so make sure to do that and really that's all the advice i can give you on your magic coins don't spend it stupidly now, like, I can't say whether or not to for you to specifically get this pet or merge this pet or um, don't evolve this pet, but it's it's up to your preference. Like, it, it depends what you want to get, and I can't really control that. I can't say don't get this pet because it's not good in my opinion. Now, there are videos I have made that, that will talk about, like, the benefits of some pets and which pets are better, but I really can't limit you on what pets that you want. The main thing for spending magic coins is to think about it. Do you really, really want what you're going to evolve? It, you need to think over spending your magic coins. It's not that simple. I know the cur it's just it's just the game. It's just currency. But still, if you want to conserve your magic coins, you need to think carefully on what you're going to spend them on. So that that's going to do it for this video. Really, that's all the advice I can give you. And yeah, see you in the next one.